folks, it's Tom. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to restrand a slingshot. So first thing you're going to need is um, basically a new piece of rubber bought from the store. It's the pouch stuff. And a sling slingshot frame with the, like, I guess, pieces of metal. Anyways, so the first thing you want to do is get your old rubber off. Oh, here, give me a sec. Once you've got your two pieces of rubber off, or if it's broken or anything, or if it doesn't come with any rubber, you're now going to attach the rubber. Sorry. Attach the rubber onto here. So you're basically going to want to slip that over onto these pieces of metal. So right. give me a second. If your rubber doesn't fit on your slingshot, like mine does, uh, luckily enough I'll show you how to put it back on. So you're going to need some more rubber bands and yeah, let me show you. So the rubber that you'll need, the rubber bands, are going to be you're the ones that you use for your braces and if you don't have any of those little rubber bands like this then you're going to go to your local dentist or orthodontist and ask them for some of those little elastics and if you have to buy them then you have to buy them or if you can get away with o-rings or other very small elastics well this is just my source of rubber bands because I have extras from uh, my braces so I'll just show you how to slip it on in a bit. second. Just take a pair of pliers and kind of squeeze around in them to widen them a bit. Just the pliers. Then take it off the pliers. Just kind of take it off like that. I don't know if this helps, but you then want to take your post and you know, slowly. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but. fiddle around with it until you get it on, like on this side, and then you're going to take your rubber band, just to have it as extra um, strength, I guess you could say, just attach it on like this, so it's less, has less of a chance of loosening up. You got both rubber bands back on. Actually, this um, this isn't the greatest rubber, especially for hunting. But I mean, it works. And um, if you have a slingshot like this, and uh, if you guys have a ram bone slingshot, well, then what you want to do? Say this is your ram bone slingshot. This is homemade. Uh, I made this a couple days ago. Um. I didn't wait long enough. I had to like just seriously just cut it and so it cracked. But anyways, what you're gonna want to do is get another rubber band like this. Wanna drill a hole through uh your wood. Then you wanna take your basically your rubber band there and you wanna tie a knot like you wanna put it through, you wanna tie a knot, and then it should be good. But I don't recommend using this type of rubber, it's very, not that strong. I'd probably use TheraBand Gold, but if you only can get like a TheraBand Blue or Black, I guess it could work. And if you guys don't know what TheraBand is, it's like some Physio rubber. And it's really strong, like... It's damn strong, so... This is what I'd use for Ram Bone Sling Shots, because it's very strong rubber really tough and durable and if you have a slingshot like this and any slingshots keep it in a nice uh, dry not dry but more cool place so the rubber doesn't uh, like don't leave it in the sun all day or else it'll eventually just you know decayed and become all crusty and not very usable but anyways that's how you rebrand a reband a slingshot and yeah, I could slip it back on. I just you really have to put lots of force into it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed video. Or, I mean, first of all, I want you. I want to talk to you guys about something. My channel 
will be going through a lot of rebranding, I guess you could say. Like, I might change the name of it, and I might change, I'll probably change the channel art, and all sorts of stuff. But uh, the good news is, I'm trying to upload a video every day. Very hard to do. But what I'm pretty stoked about is that I'm going to be going hunting soon. And yeah, it'll be pretty awesome. And I'll also be sho showing you guys hunting techniques and stuff. Also, I'm, also, I'm pointing at this, these white boards because I'm going to have a... Um, Studio, I guess you could say, and uh, I'll be like it's in my basement, but like my workshop is literally right there. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be going hunting soon, and I'll have a studio up. So when I do reviews, it'll be a bit more professional. Um, I'm probably gonna get a new microphone, and um, also, yeah, I'm probably gonna be getting new guns. Um, maybe three, uh, one, uh, one, two pellet guns, one for like a brake barrel, about a thousand feet per second, because my other Ruger, um, it's not very good for scroll, well, I mean it works, but it's not very accurate, so I'm going to get a more accurate uh, brake barrel and a bit stronger, like probably a thousand feet per second, so I'll have to register it, and also get a pistol that's about 500 feet per second, a Browning or a I don't remember what it is, but it's like a pistol, and it's really strong. It's a brake barrel pistol. So if I'm going in the car or something, and I see a squirrel or a small animal, I can just get out of the car, shoot it, put it in the cooler, and, you know, drive away. And, uh, sorry about the unprofessional videos about this thing. Uh, <laughs> it's just something really cool that we made, and I wanted to show you guys. Also, uh, yeah, I'll probably be getting an SKS, which is a rifle that's semi-automatic. Pretty cool. And anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.